morning, YouTubers. Today, the bees are buzzing. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be hot, but we are going to move succulents into the top two layers of the pallet planter. Let me show you what succulents I've got. I've got several plants here. Uh, most of these are echeverias, but I've got some that are fairly small and they're getting choked out by my golden moss. So what I want to do is just leave my larger echeverias in here, these four, and I'm going to take out all of this small stuff. It just doesn't look pretty. So we're going to take out these and set them in the planter. These are the succulents that I've pulled out from around my echeveria. And our next thing is to just get them in the planter. So now we are going to fill this top row first. Um, I've got my succulents kind of in the order I want them. And the ones that I've got um, may fill up the top shelf. And I may have some for the next shelf, I'm not sure. But we're just going to start with the top shelf for now. This one is called Painted Lady. I get all the names from my best friend, Brooke. <laughs> um, she's helping me today, recording for me. So I'm going to put him over in the corner here. Painted Lady Her. Okay. Echeveria, maybe Echeveria Pollux, not sure. Okay, this is an Echeveria Pollux. I think it's got a few babies on it I need to clip off. Can I get my clippers there? So if you see underneath here, it started making other little ones that are coming out. And you can cut those off and propagate them into a whole nother plant. A little bitty one right there. Oops. Oops, I just dropped him on the ground. He'll be okay. He'll live. But I don't want to fall. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put our Echeveria Pollux on this end. wanted to leave the roots on these guys because I don't want to have to when when you're doing succulents if they don't have roots you should not water them they need to get their energy from their leaves but since this one has roots hopefully he's going to stay in there and just lean over and he'll look pretty um, I can water it a little more often and I'm really bad about overwatering. So, this is my Echeveria. No? PVN. It's called Pearl, Pearl von Nudenberg, or PVN for short. So, we're going to put him in the middle. And I've got another one I'll put in the middle on this side. Brooke is my succulent queen. Okay, this one is Echeveria something. Some type of Echeveria. We're not sure what it's called. So we're going to put him on this end. Okay, and we're not sure what this one is. This is one of my favorites, though. I love the way this one looks. Now we've got a topsy-turvy, and this topsy-turvy 
as this baby's blooming out of the top because he's topsy-turvy. one at the bottom too. Okay, now he's a little more symmetrical and we'll put him in right here. And can I have the Von Neuberg here mm -hmm. next? Oh, there's a mother of millions in her. My soil up here is really dry right now. You can see it all over my sweaty hands. Okay. I think we're going to move down to the next shelf. At the second shelf, I have got a few that I took from the next shelf down and thought they would look better uh, because they would be higher up here and cover some of this black. So I am going to put my chandelier plants on each side. I've got one side that's going to be larger than the other, but hopefully he'll catch up. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to put in for today. I may come back and add some more uh, succulents that will flow over the side. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave this as it is and come back and water it. Standing back looking at what I've done so far, I am not in love with that top shelf. And I think what I'm going to do is just take all the echeverias down, find maybe another spot in the shelf for them, but just put the Transcanthia, I can't say that right, the Wandering Jew Zebrina in. So um, I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. Okay, so I think I found a place for all of the guys that were at the top there is my wandering Jew up there and it will flow over the sides cascade down a little bit and it is a vigorous grower so I will have to go up and trim it um, it is a shade loving plant so hopefully it does okay over here we'll just have to see how it goes uh, these are some of the ones that I transferred down here my big guy there, my Pearl Von Neuberg, and this guy here, I can't remember his name. And I've got my Painted Lady right here. So they all fit in there pretty good. And that is the end of this project. Next time, I will be working in the backyard. I've got several flower beds to clean out, 
and I'm wanting to put my Mandenvia. I've got two of them that I want to put around my arch. I want to train my crepe myrtles that are on the back side of the arch to shape around the edge of the arch. So we'll be tying those in place. Y'all come back now.